Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in this video, we are going to see how can you hook into any Windows API using WinAppDBG. So before we jump into WinAppDBG, first we are going to debug the same Notepad application with WinAppDBG. Uh, sorry, Windows Debugger, WinDBG. And we'll see what we are going to achieve using WinAppDBG in WinDBG first. So let's get started. So as usual, we are going to debug our favorite application Notepad. And the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to attach this Notepad process to WinDBG. As you have seen in my previous videos, I'm going to set a quick breakpoint on the message box API. And I'll continue the execution. Now let's trigger the message box API breakpoint. As you can see, we have hit the message box breakpoint here. Now, if you want to see right, what all arguments are being passed to message box, how do you do that in WinDBG? So for that, you have to have a better understanding about the API, which is, you know, in this case is message box W. So if you just simply uh, on Google, Mm, the MSDN article should give you, you know, a lot of information about this API. So it's going to give you the data type, you know, and uh, the argument it is going to, you know, uh, data type of the argument. So for example, the first, uh, for the first argument is window handle. Second argument is the, you know, the text caption and the type, uh, and the window type. Uh, so these are actually white character string. These are handles, uh, etc. And a lot of other details of this about these arguments are also, you know, um, available on this MSDN document. So for example, under WinDBG, if you have to see what uh, what string is being passed here as, you know, the as LP text. Uh, so how do we do that? So let's let's see how can we do that. So since it's since I'm debugging a 64 bit application, the arguments are not passed through stacks. The first four arguments are passed through four register, which is RCX, RDX, R8, and R9. So we are interested in the value of RDX. I mean, which is actually pointed by uh, the RDX is pointing to our second argument. So now let's dump all the register. So you do that on uh, do that in WinDBG using you know R. So as you can see, the value of RDX is this. So which means RCX is the window handle. Uh, we are not interested in this one right now. So let's focus on RDX here. So if you want to dump that, right? What you have to do here, you can simply use dump bytes and do this. As you can see, it is actually about to show you the message cannot find string one, two, three, which is an Unicode string. So you can do this as well, T-U-R-D-X, this. And as usual, you can dump the third argument as well, which is D-U-R-8 which is notepad, the title of that. So if you just simply, you know, continue the execution, as you can see, we have seen the same message, cannot find one, two, three, cannot find one, two, three, and the title is notepad. So the enough of WinDBG thing, uh, since the focus of this tutorial is, you know, uh, make you more, um, uh, make you understand what, how, how can you say, do the same thing using WinRBG, let's jump into it. Uh, I'll close this thing and, I have already prepared the script. Actually, I'm going to you know go through line by line how how are we doing this. Uh, so this till line 19, it is already clear. We have seen in the, in the previous videos as well. We are actually resolving the um, address of message box API, which is you know uh, exported from user 30.dll. Uh, the next thing that we are going to do here is uh, to hook any API. Uh, WinDBG actually exposes a function called a hook function. Uh, that is uh, exposed by you know debug object. So this is how you actually hook into an API. So what all what all arguments that you have to pass here? The first argument that get passed to hook function is the PID. PID as usual we have seen it in our previous videos. That PID you get it like this event dot get PID. So you pass the PID to it. The second one is the hook the address where the API actually resides. Resides in this case message box address is MB address. We simply Going to pass it after that is pre callback pre cb 
so pre callback what does that mean so you can actually you know install a hook in two different uh, two different places so when the when you are actually entering into that api and where you are actually you know exiting the api so we are interested in we want to see what all arguments are being passed to that api so we are hooking to uh, hook into the entry point of that api so that is why we have set pre cb pre cb and our breakpoint handler which is my message box breakpoint handler so whenever we reach that point uh, the message box api this function is going to trigger this is kind of a callback function and this is a signature what what does this mean because WinAppDBG has no idea what type of API you are you are actually trying to hook and you know what all what is the data type of this argument so that is what you have to define it here so the first argument is window handle the second argument uh, is actually uh, is, a, is a white character string but you can simply since it, it will be treated as a pointer you can simply use p void p void and last one is the unsigned unsigned integer so of uh, uh, so this is this was for the message box but if you want to you know uh, if you want to hook some customized api and you are not really sure where to find this you know say how to find the signatures so you can simply refer to this uh, you have to go to github uh, sorry win app dbg github you can simply go to this win32 and you under nttll you should be able to find you know all these data types and other things that we have you can just simply you know do a quick do a quick grip on these files and you should be able to find all the data types here okay so enough of this now what else we are passing into it so that's all so signature will be you know that api signature you are going to pass it like this signature equal to signature message box okay now let's point let's have a look at you know how does this uh, the the hook handler looks like so this is our hook handler as we have seen uh, so the first argument is going to be event uh that is uh, that is common for all the you know uh, callback functions in under win app dbg and the second uh, argument is going to be array uh this is also you have to just you know uh, you have to have it and after that you actually pass all the arguments that is being passed to message box api so in that case the first one is the handle second one is lp text uh, the third one is lp caption and the fourth one is u type uh so so the, the signature actually you know helps win dbg to uh, to parse this uh, this uh, arguments i mean the way it is going to be parsed if it is a string it is going to parse it in that manner if it is going to be a handle it will parse it in in that so that easily you can you know get values of those arguments uh so now once you you know once we once we reach this point our uh, our api is hit and we are we are up to this point what is going to happen so now we are interested in uh the second argument that is being passed right that string it's being passed to message box api so how do we dump that uh so you get the pid as usual like this event.get pid after that you get the pro create a process object using that pid and that process object actually exposes the api which is known as peak string so in that peak string if you pass this uh, the address of the first argu second argument right it is going to dereference that pointer and it is going to grab that raw raw byte uh, raw bytes from that memory and and it also allows you to you know give an option what type of data you are reading so uh, here we are actually mentioning it since it's a unicode string we are actually setting it like if unicode true and this is now this will now hold the string and we are actually printing that string so now let's run this uh, script uh, okay uh, now let's go to python uh, api hook dot pi uh, the process is launched as usual we'll have to trigger that api call let's find one two three as you can see here uh, we have seen the message cannot find one two three and we are able to print it here as well the second argument of message box api so as usual as in uh, uh, you can actually you know modify these values as well you can simply uh, we have seen how can we write to process memory you can simply once you have this address right lp text you can simply write your own um, own string into that so in that case uh, you you are hooking into api and you know modif tweaking those arguments as well uh, so this is actually very useful for uh, in memory fuzzing uh, that will come to later on uh, we'll, we'll show you some you know very basic in memory fuzzing as well using WinAppDBG. 
so yeah there will be few more videos as well uh, i i hope you found this video useful uh, so if you are not subscribed to my channel please uh, do subscribe uh, so that you get notified when i upload new content so yeah mm, that's all i had to share with you in this video i hope you have enjoyed uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you so much